We'll continue our discussion of various interesting aspects of OpenGL by considering animation and showing you how to move the teapot. Let's first go to our demo and notice here that the teapot moves around. So I can start and I can stop the animation. I'm pressing the P key on my keyboard in order to start and stop the animation. And notice that I can move in, move out, zoom, zoom out while the animation is going on. Let's now talk about the code that you need to write in order for this to happen. First, we're going to use this glcolor3f command in order to set the color. And notice that the color involves green and blue, so it's cyan. We then push the matrix onto the stack. And again, this is a deprecated command to set the translation by the teapot location. Then we have the sequence of steps. Remember that in OpenGL, the last transform that's applied is actually the, f the last transform in the code is actually the first one that's applied. So you take the teapot, you rotate it by 90 degrees about the x axis, and then you translate it point 0.1 in the z axis. This is required in order to get it in the right orientation and the right position in the screen. Then we translate it by this teapot lock command. This is the drawing command for the teapot. This gives the radius. And again, you push and pop around this entire block so that you don't affect other geometry. The animation routine is very simple. It just increments teapot location. And if it goes off the right edge of the screen, it resets it to the left edge. Remember, the glut post redisplay command tells OpenGL and glut to call the display routine as soon as it can in order to update. Finally, there is a keyboard callback where P is used to pause the animation. And this keyboard callback is very simple. If you're animate, then glut idle function is set to animation. Glut idle function is called when nothing else is going on, when the program is idle. Otherwise, you set the glut idle function to null, in which case nothing is happening. And this is a simple toggle of animate. So just toggle it on and off when I press B. So with this simple mechanism, you can have pre-baked animations where they animate while the program is idle.